Hello everyone. In this session, we are going to learn about insert or delete columns activity. Now let me start this session with the scenario. If you see on my screen, I'm having student marks Excel file, which is having student name, class and subject and their respective marks, right? Now I want to add a, a new column. I want to insert a new column in between B and C columns. How can I go ahead and insert a column using add or delete columns activity? Or I will go for one more scenario. Let's assume I want to delete a column with the name of class. I want to delete that entire column. How can I go ahead and delete that column using add or delete column in UiPath? Now will I explain the same thing by using UiPath Studio? Now we are in the UiPath Studio. Let me add a new sequence. Okay, let me go to the projects. Right click, add new sequence. I'm going to give it the name as add delete columns. Click on create. Now as a first activity, what we are going to do, we are going to drag and drop Excel application scope onto my panel. And then I'm going to browse the file that is student marks. Now let me click on open. Let me go to activities and then we are trying to search insert or delete columns. If you see under Excel, under processing, we'll find delete columns. Let me drag and drop. But don't confuse about this insert column. This is the different one, which I will explain you in the latest part of the sessions. Okay. Now I'm going to drag and drop this insert column onto my panel. Before that, if you see inserts or delete column in specific position, what does that mean? If I want to add in specific position that I said between B and C, I'm going to add these columns or deleting these columns based on the position. Okay. Now let me drag and drop this activity on my do panel. Now, first of all, we'll see the properties. If you see the properties, first thing is the destination. Number of columns, that the mean, if you want to add or delete, how many columns you want to delete or add? That is, I'm just giving the default over here. You can see the default one as one. If you want more than one, that you can give it in integer format because of it will support only integers okay another one position position is nothing but from which position as i said a starts from 1 b 2 c 3 d these are all the positions of the each and every column so the first one is one is nothing but it will start at the starting position of the excel okay and if you see the input change mode you are having two different modes over here one is add or remove if you're going to add it, that the mean you're going to inserting a column. If you're going to say select remove, it's nothing but deleting the columns. And the one that we are going to sheet is the sheet name that which uh, sheet that we are going to do these operations or change operations that we are going to do. Now, what do we have done? We have to add in between at the position of number of columns. I have to add only one column at the position of three. Let me select the position as three and then let me go ahead. Let me run the bot. Now, if you see it has been executed successfully, but without knowing that where it has been done. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to add one more thing message box over here so that it will, it will hold for a while. Okay. Message box. Let me drag and drop this message box. Operation completed and now let me go ahead let me run the bot once again if you see over here in the previous one that we, uh, we have ran this bot for two times that's the reason you can see at the c and d it has been added for two columns over here okay let me go ahead let me delete once again so that you will understand very easily let me go to my project. Let me open the student marks. Now I will delete these two columns. Let me save it. 
Now let me run the bot once again so that you will understand very easily. Now if you see, you can see the column C column has been added over here. Okay. Now this is how we are going to add the columns. But one of the thing is that you can't give any kind of names in the columns. Okay. Let me go ahead. Let me close it. Now what I want to do, I have inserted the columns, but I have not given any name to the column. So how can I go ahead and do that? Let me go to the activities. And then what I'm going to do, I'm going to use right cell. Right cell that I'm going to take it from the Excel itself. Let me drag and drop this Excel. Right Excel. And if you see the properties, the range that I'm going to give the third column, right? So that what I will give the, I will give the range as C1 to C1 only. I want to just write in only one column. Okay. And the value that I'm going to say it as, let's assume I'm going to work on the total marks. Okay. So if you see my Excel here, what I'm going to do, I'm going to add a new column and then I'm going to name it as, you know, total marks. So that what it will happen, it will calculate the marks which we are having. Okay. Now what I'm going to do, I have given the, uh, you know, value as total marks for the column. Okay. Along with that, what I will do, I will go ahead and calculate the marks of the students. Okay. For each and every student. But if you see in one of my previous session, I have used for each row and then I have used a data table and then I'm going to do all these things. But here I'm doing in another way. How I'm going to do, I'm going to use the same activity once again, right cell over here. And then what I'm going to do, the range that I'm going to mentioning it. If you see over here, if I'm going to add a new column, this column will move to right and it comes over here. Correct. That is D2 to I2. You have to calculate from, let assume if I'm going to let add it over here, insert. Now what will happen if I got it like this? I have to, uh, you know, from a2 to H2, I want to calculate the sum of the marks, right? That is the range that I'm going to give it over here. That is D2 to H2. Okay. And you can see the formula over here that you can see the input over here. What it is saying? The input value or the formula. What is the formula to sum of the marks? I have to give in double quote sum of that is Oh, oh, sorry that I have forgot this cell, right cell that we are going to give in a such a way from here to here. I need to calculate. This is the range, not this is the range of the formulas. Okay. Now, if you see from C2 to that is what is the one C13 that I have to do this thing. C2 to C13. I will give that values over here. C2 to C13. Okay, and some of the marks we can give it over here as D2 to H2. You have to give the uh, formula over here equal to sum of D2 to H2. Now let me run the bot. And now you can see the operation has been completed. Now you can see the total number of marks over here. And you can see the marks for this one particular student, Dave, that you have got the total number of marks, uh, 444, 444, 431 and respectively. And uh, over here, you know, you got it more than 1000. I had just given the value, wrong value over here, like 752. That's the reason you got it 1000 marks over here. Okay. I hope you understand how to use add columns. Correct. Now what I'm going to do, I'm going to delete the columns i'm going to how can i go ahead and delete the columns now if you see i'm going to using the same insert or delete the columns but over here if you see the change mode i'm going to make it as remove okay what will happen at the position three whatever you have it will delete the column okay now already in the third column that we're having total marks so that it will delete that one now let me run the bot if you see over here, the total mark, okay, has been deleted at the position three. I will explain you why it has been deleted over here. If you see 
that I'm deleting from C3 and also I'm going to add one more right cell over here, right? If you observe over here, it has been first it has been deleted at the same time you can see the cell I have given as C1 to C1 is nothing but in place of Hindi it is going to be overwriting this formula. If you are not going to use this formula so that you can find it out the subjects Hindi and all these things. Okay, but without I have without uh, you know writing this cell you can easily understand how to delete the rows. Okay, this is how you are going to use insert or delete columns in UiPath Studio. Thank you for watching UiPath tutorials. If you have any queries related to this concept, please post them in the comment section. I will see you in the next session. Till then, bye-bye. Have a nice day.